Today, we have a few smart devices to review. And actually, I don't think I've done an in-depth review with one of them, so this is gonna be interesting. Today, we have these two devices. We have the ProLink Smart Bulb and the ProLink Smart Infrared Controller. So, we're gonna talk about the build quality, the unboxing, some of the features, and some use cases. And more importantly, why you need these devices in your smart home. Let's talk about it. Before anything else, I want to thank ProLink Philippines for sending me these devices so I can review them and share my thoughts with you. These have been sent to me for free but I'm not getting paid to do this review. And no one is reviewing this video before it gets published so these are purely my thoughts. I'm also gonna leave links in the description if you're interested to buy these products online. Full disclosure, these are affiliate links, so if you buy them using my link, I get a small kickback and that really helps the channel. Alright, so for a relatively low price, you get smart devices that's compatible to Smart Life and can easily be integrated into Google Home and Amazon Alexa. Is that worth your money? Let's find out. Alright, so let's start with the box. Like all smart devices I reviewed in the past, you get everything you need inside these boxes. You get the manual, the device itself, and all the required cables. Although for the smart IR remote, I would have wanted if they included a charging brick, as it is most likely going to be used in this case. One thing I like about ProLink devices is they have a lot of information in the box, which is always a plus in my book. Now let's jump into the build quality. For a budget smart home device, these are actually pretty good just about what you'd expect in terms of quality. Smart bulb has a nice weight to it. The case is made of hard plastic and the base is obviously metal. The bulb itself is made of a translucent material. Not much to say here. I've reviewed smart bulbs in the past and some of them actually have aluminum casing which helps with heat dissipation. This one doesn't have that but I don't think it's gonna be much of an issue. The IR remote on the other hand is a bit thicker and bigger than most IR remotes I've tested in the past. It's not bad, it's just a little bit different. The cable that comes with the IR remote is pretty short, which I think is just ideal, since for this, you won't do much cable management. Okay, so now let's move into the setup process. Like most smart devices, these are pretty straightforward. You download the app, reset the device, and just follow the prompts. Setting up smart devices has been so much easier compared to how it was in the past. So this shouldn't be an issue for you as well. These are both Wi-Fi devices, so that means you wouldn't need a Zigbee hub to make these work. But you will need a stable Wi-Fi router to make sure that these work all the time, especially if you have a lot of these devices at your home. These smart devices are compatible with Smart Life, and to me, that is a big plus. If you know me, almost all my smart devices are in Smart Life, and that makes it so much easier to integrate to Google Home and Amazon Alexa. So now let's talk about the features of these smart devices. Let's talk about the smart bulb first. This one has all the features that you'd expect from a smart Wi-Fi bulb. You can change the colors from white to warm and any colors you can think of. You can set it to any preloaded scenes, you can set a schedule, and you can even have it react to any sound or music. But because this is in Smart Life, you can take advantage of all the features that Smart Life has. You can use tap to run or smart automations with this. Now on to the smart IR remote. This is actually pretty useful. I have a few of them in my house. Just a quick background on this device for those of you who are new in the smart home. If you remember a universal remote, back in the 90s when you would lose the original remote to your TV, you'd go to the department store and get a remote. This works exactly like that. Only this one connects to more devices than just TVs. It can work with ACs, air purifiers, anything that can receive a signal from a remote. And because it's smart, not only you can control it from your phone, but also through voice activations from Google Home and Alexa. Alexa, change the temperature of the aircon to 60.8. We are really living in the future now. All right, all right. This all sounds technical and complex, right? How do you actually use them on a day-to-day -day basis? I'll give you a few ideas. Let's start with a smart bulb. 
One of the more common uses for this is actually using it as a desk lamp. You just have to go out and buy a desk lamp holder and then from there, you just have to control it using your voice commands, maybe schedule it, or even a motion sensor. You can also use this as a hallway light. I actually have one in my hallway that triggers every time I pass by by a motion sensor. So that way I don't have to leave it on all the time, it triggers by itself whenever there's motion. You can also use these smart bulbs on areas where you would typically turn the lights on at certain times of day, like your den or maybe your garage. I've always used one in my garage, I actually have three of them there, that turns on at night when it reaches around 6pm and then turns off in the morning when the sun rises. Or if you want to get creative, you can even use them as warning lights. You can have them set to blink a certain way when it triggers a motion sensor. This way, instead of just having sound alarms, you can have visual cues as well. This is a bit difficult to do, maybe a little bit technical, but it's definitely worth it. Now let's talk about the IR mode, this guy. This is probably one of the more useful smart devices. Because just by having this, you can turn several devices that you already own into smart home devices. Let me give you an example. A typical living room would normally have a TV, maybe a set-top box, a TV box, I don't know, a DVD. It would have fans, ACs, and so much more devices that you can control with an IR remote. Just by having this, you can turn all of them into smart devices. Pretty cool, right? For me personally, I have one in my living room that controls the fans, the TVs, and my TV box. This allows me to control the devices using just my voice and also turn them off when there's no one around by triggering motion sensors. And this is pretty useful for ACs as well. Apart from using voice controls to turn your ACs on and off and maybe change temperatures, Alexa, turn off the aircon. You can also set this to work with your motion sensors. That means that if there's no one in the room, this can automatically turn off the ACs in your room to save some energy. Or again, if you want to be more creative, you can probably set this to trigger the devices on with geofencing. One example would be when you arrive home and if you want the ACs to turn on to make your room cool, you can do that. Alright, so smart devices are really interesting and these ones are good options. They might not be the best premium ones, but this is a good start on your smart home journey if you're just starting out. And that's the end of the video. If you want to see more videos about budget tech and smart home devices, make sure to hit that subscribe button and while you're down there, hit that like button as well. Alright, as always, I'll see you in the next one.